How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. So I got another racket review for you guys today and it's the newest version of one of if not the most popular uh, racket on the market today and that is the Babala Pure Aero version 7 2023 edition. Let's check it out. So the Pure Aero series is one of the most popular racket lines on the market, made famous and popular by the one and only Rafael Nadal. Many players want to play like him, they want to hit that buggy whip shot, be able to generate massive topspin, and that's why the Pure Aero is designed for players who want to hit heavy spin. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. So this is the seventh generation of the Pure Aero line. Back in the day, it used to be called the Aero Pro Drive, and honestly, I have not played um, the Aero line since the Pure Drive, excuse me, the Aero Pro Drive GT, which I believe came out in 2012. So it's been a good 10 years since I've used an Aero line, and so I was very curious to try this racket because it is one of the most popular rackets on the market. So not much has changed since the previous edition of the Pure Aero, which came out back in, I believe, 2019. Um, but first, let's check out this cool cosmetic. Um, a lot of people have been praising this new design. I think it looks a lot better than the previous generation, which uh, some people call it the banana racket. It looks and it's colored like a banana. But this is a pretty cool paint job, especially the new tone of yellow with the gray and the black accents. As far as the specs go, we'll get into that in a minute, but nothing much has changed since the previous generation. You guys know about the Cortex dampening system and all that. There are a few things I would like to touch on though. Firstly, the Pure Aero line has something called spin grommets, which are placed at the 12 o'clock position and the six o'clock position of the face. And the spin grommets are basically just funnel shaped grommet holes. So instead of a traditional cylindrical grommet hole like this, they're shaped like a funnel, like this. And so that allows for the strings to move a lot more in a dynamic pattern to get more spin, snapback, and power. Secondly, the Pure Aero 2023 edition introduces something called the NF2 Tech Flax technology or something weird like that. It's basically an update of the previous dampening system they used in the previous version. Um, I don't know why they keep calling it these fancy names, just call it the dampening system or whatever because that's all it basically is. It's meant to absorb a little bit of shock. The Pure Aero line is known as a pretty stiff racket. They have brought the stiffness down a bit and the stiffness rating has also dropped in this generation compared to the previous generation so this is supposed to be even softer than the last gen. So let's take a quick look at the specs of the Babala Pure Aero 2023. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about it because the specs remain unchanged since the previous edition. And the specs are just a typical tweener frame, 100 square inches, 300 grams, 10.6 ounces, unstrung, 320 millimeter balance. There's nothing unique or special really about the specs. I do, however, want to call attention to the string pattern. It is a 1619, but the biggest change between this current gen and the previous gen is that the string spacing has gotten tighter and the tighter string spacing equals more control which is a, uh, something that a lot of pure aero players have been asking for and so Babala listened and they decided to keep a 1619 string pattern to maintain good spin but make it tighter so that the, the launch angle will be lower so you'll get more control you'll be able to take full aggressive swings and trust that the ball will stay in the line. So the string pattern change is the biggest difference between this gen and the previous one. So I actually do own the 2012 Aero Pro Drive GT. Um, I've used it a bit. I don't love it that much because it is a stiff racket and it doesn't really conform to my swing style or my play style. So I haven't used an Aero line really since then. So I was very curious about this racket because it is one of the most popular rackets on the market. And I was wondering, could this 2023 edition finally get me to like the Pure Aero line? Let's get on the court and find out. All 
All right, guys, I'm here on court with the new 2023 edition of the Babala Pure Arrow. So this is one of the most popular racket lines on the market. I have not used an arrow line in a while, so I'm excited to see what all the hype is about. So let's get on the court and find out. Okay, so I'm sure you guys know that the Pure Arrow line is meant to get tons of topspin. So it's more geared towards players who have that more vertical swing path like this that like to do that whip up kind of swing i don't really have that kind of swing but i do hit a decent amount of topspin it's probably not as much as some other people they've changed up the shape of the frame considerably since 2012 to make it a little bit more sharper a little bit more aerodynamic I definitely feel it cutting through the air on that slice especially or on the backhand. My backhand feels a lot more comfortable than the 2012 Aero Pro Drive GT. And man that forehand, uh, man that forehand feels good. Great power, great spin. Yeah geez it swings fast. Another thing I was worried about is the stiffness because as you guys know Babala makes some pretty stiff rackets like the arrow line. This thing feels great. No comfort issues at all. It feels nice and soft, nice and plush, but firm enough that I get a decent response and I know where I'm hitting the ball. So far, I'm really liking it from the baseline. I think aggressive baseliners will be able to use this racket. Yeah, wow, it feels good. Ugh. Oh, wow. It feels, the back end feels really good. Uh, I'm excited to try and serve with this racket because it's very aerodynamic. I want to see if I can be able to hit those out wide slices or out wide kicks effectively. At the net, I don't look for too much help. I just want something that's nice and stable so far. Because it's a 300 gram, it's a little on the lighter side but the 100 square inches gives it a generous sweet spot and as long as I block it in front like that, yeah, the ball flies. But again, if you, if you kind of swing at volleys, you're gonna struggle with this racket because it has a lot more power at the net than some control rackets that I like to use. You really just have to have a disciplined swing and just block it in front, which works for me. Yeah, I, I actually like it on the slices and on the volleys, but if you're getting impatient and trying to swing at volleys, you're gonna hit a lot out. This thing is powerful. Ah! It is also a little bit stiff. I feel it in my wrist especially, not so much my elbow, but when I hit off center and I really need to grip the racket tightly, I feel my wrist kind of giving way. My main takeaway at the net is that it's just kind of stiff all around, which doesn't really bother me, but it might bother some people but you really gotta have a disciplined swing to keep your volleys in check. Just block it in front. If you're a volley swinger or an aggressive net player, this might be a little bit too springy and powerful for you, and you might also hurt your wrist. Just block it in front if you're using this racket at the net. So I just finished my play test of the 2023 edition of the Babala Pure Arrow, and my suspicions were confirmed. Unfortunately, I did not enjoy this racket all that much, but that's not surprising. I kind of knew that going in because I own the AeroPro Drive GT from back in 2012 and I don't really like that racket that much either. These types of tweener frames uh, don't really match my play style, but that's not, that doesn't mean that this racket doesn't have its good points and its pros. So let's get into what makes this racket a good choice for some people. So although I didn't like this racket that much overall, this racket does have a lot of good things going for it and I want to start with those good things. And the biggest thing that I think most people are going to find with this racket is that it gets good power and good spin, which is typical of these tweener rackets, especially the Aero line, which is known for its uh, great spin generation because of its spin grommets and its aerodynamic design. This is one of the most spin friendly rackets on the market. That being said, I do wanna say one thing, uh, one misconception that a lot of people have, a racket or a string won't help you with spin. 
The number one factor that contributes to spin is your form. And if you already have that vertical swing, swing low to high, and you can generate that racket head speed, you'll get decent spin no matter what racket you use. But if you have that, that swing, the pure arrow is definitely gonna augment your spin generation. But if you have a more flat, horizontal type of swing, this racket is probably not meant for you. This is definitely more for those who swing upwards and quickly to generate the spin. I like this racket the best on the serve because as I expected when I was warming up with it, it swings incredibly fast through the air and it has good power. I rarely ever hit a flat serve into the net with this racket. If I missed, I missed long. Um, I really like the high launch angle off my string bed when I was hitting those flats and slices because I really felt that I could dictate the point, serve with confidence and be able to, even on the second serve, be able to swing out on my serves and, and stay aggressive from the onset of the point. The pure arrow rackets have gotten considerably softer over the years. The previous generation, I, I was told that it was very soft. This one is even softer with a lower RA and I felt that it was very arm friendly. I didn't feel any jarring sensations at all. Even with the tighter string pattern, I felt very uh, comfortable and I didn't feel any pain in my wrist or my elbow. That being said, it was still nice and firm enough for me to be able to feel the ball. I like a nice firm but comfortable response because I still want to be able to feel where exactly I'm hitting the ball. The pure arrow for the most part gave me that as long as I made contact in the sweet spot and that's something I want to address as well. The sweet spot in this racket feels a little higher um, above the center which is where most people tend to hit the ball. If you hit higher up in the string bed, I think the Pure Arrow gets the perfect blend of power and control if you hit in that upper third of the racket. When I hit it in the center, I felt like it had a bit too much power, but if I hit it cleanly in that dense area of the string bed, it wasn't jarring at all and it gave me the perfect blend of power and control. The Pure Arrow is also incredibly stable. It is a pretty thick beam, 100 square inch, a uh, uh, head size, pretty generous sweet spot, so I rarely ever felt that this racket lacked power. Even if I hit off center on returns or running forehands, or even if I just kind of shanked a volley, it had enough plow through and stability to be able to hit a decent shot back without having to put me on the defensive all the time. I also really like this racket on the volleys. The volleys felt very crisp, but at the same time very comfortable. On reaction volleys where my opponent hit the return straight at me when I was at the net, all I had to really do was just block and redirect it and then that allowed me to transition from defense to offense, which I like. If you swing at the volleys, you're gonna hit a lot of volleys out, so just be more disciplined. If you're looking for a racket that's going to help you with power at the net, the Pure Arrow will definitely do that. So because of its good power and good stability on serves and at the net especially, I really like this for the serve and volley and so I really like this racket definitely better for doubles than singles. So now let's get into the cons of the Pure Arrow 2023. I touched on this a little earlier, but the ground strokes, I really liked it while I was warming up, but that was with the ball coming straight back at me. I didn't have to really run for it. I didn't have to really hit a, a fast ball my opponent was hitting. And so I really liked it during the warm up. but when it come, came to the match play, I really struggled with this racket because I felt that it had a little bit too much power. Even with the updated tighter string pattern, I still felt that this racket had a high launch angle. I prefer something a little lower because I like to be aggressive and attack returns. I sent a lot of returns past the baseline which affected my confidence and I felt that if I ever was outstretched or had to hit a ball on the run or step in and hit an aggressive return, I had to shorten my swing a lot and I really only felt comfortable rallying from the baseline swinging about 70% which I don't really like when a racket limits my confidence and limits my ability to just swing out and play my style of aggressive tennis. This was just a little bit too much power for me and if you are an advanced player who likes to generate their own power, the Pure Arrow definitely benefits more from stringing with a poly and stringing with a higher tension but I really don't recommend going above 55 pounds because this is still on the stiffer end even though they have brought the stiffness down in recent years. The second thing that bothered me is the head heavy balance. This is a 300 gram 10.6 ounce unstrung racket which is kind of on the lighter side and so in order to have stability, it needs to have the weight balanced a little bit more towards the head. I said earlier in the pro section that this racket is incredibly stable, which it is. Because the balance is a little bit head heavier than I prefer, I struggled to hit 
good kick serves with this racket because I had a hard time generating that acceleration on the pronation which made my kick serves just kind of sit up there. I definitely like this racket with the flat and the slice serves. The kick serve I really struggled in and that's the serve that I use the most and so I didn't feel as confident as I would have liked when I was serving and volleying. But this is an easy fix um, like I do with almost all my rackets. You could just put um, some weight under the butt cap to shift the balance point more towards the handle to make it head light. I think that would definitely benefit me personally to be able to generate that racket head speed and to be able to get that kick serve up and out out of my opponent's strike zone. But I am judging this racket in its stock form and I felt that the balance was a little bit too head heavy for my liking. I also felt it was kind of hard to hit running ground strokes with this. I think if you're already good at them, this racket will definitely help you because this racket is meant to swing vertically. Because of the head heavy nature of this racket, I kind of struggled hitting those on the run forehand, buggy whip forehands. Again, this is an easy fix if I put some weight under the handle. But unfortunately, the biggest con for me was that I could not confidently swing out from the baseline because I hit a lot of returns long, I hit a lot of running forehands long. The backhand was really, really good because I have a more compact swing on the backhand. And when I swung out on my backhand, this racket generated enough power and I could keep the ball in the lines. But really, the forehand is where I struggled. But unfortunately, because of that lack of confidence, from the baseline, I don't think this is a racket that I can use. Although I am a servant volley and primarily a doubles player, I do prefer a racket that helps me with the ground strokes because I already have established volleys, I don't need help there. I want something that will help me with the ground strokes. And unfortunately, the pure arrow line has always been a rocket launcher from the baseline. Some people like that, but unfortunately, this is not what I'm looking for in a racket. So who is the Babala Pure Arrow 2023 for? I think it's for people who already own the previous generation, but that was a little bit too stiff for them. This version, the newest version, definitely tones down the stiffness just a little bit. It is actually quite arm friendly, which surprised me for such a thick beamed racket. And also because of the tighter string pattern, this racket will have a lower launch angle and give you a little bit more control. So if you didn't like the previous version because you thought it sailed too many balls, this version will uh, keep the balls in play a little bit more. That wasn't quite the case for me, but I think if you own previous generations of the Arrow and you just want a softer and uh, more controlled edition, definitely give the Pure Arrow 2023 a try. Also, if you have that more vertical swing, uh, western grip, you like to swing low to high and generate lots of spin, this racket will generate a lot of spin for you and be able to keep those balls in the lines. So if you're a heavy spin hitter, this racket can definitely work for you. Thanks for watching this review of the 2023 Babala Pure Arrow. If you guys like this content and want to see more like it, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.